guys and welcome back to DIY Ideas and welcome to a new beautiful scarf tutorial. Um, I have this shell pattern here. It's really, really easy. Um, you basically only use um, double crochets and a few chain stitches, but most of it is um, double crochets, um, always five of them in a pack and just a beautiful color fade wool here. Um, here we have kind of these double um, threads that always have two colors and they're kind of just like switching through. And I think this is a great pastel combination and also some, yeah, more colorful or like more bright colors. Um, but I think, yeah, it's really, really cool. And how exactly I did this, I'm going to show you now. Have fun. Okay, guys, so let's get started with this really cool ball of yarn, Chic Unique from Rico Design. And these colors are beautiful, it's all pastel -y. And you always have, um, this thread is kind of, yeah, contains two threads that are wrapped around each other. Um, and so it starts here with like a light brown and a pink. Um, really, really cute. Um, I had already taken the middle out here, but I will search for the start um, in a minute. And then the colors are always kind of fading out. It's not knit and like knotted, but it's dyed through. And um, which color is this? Um, let's see, it's number 24. And so there's um, a lot of different colors here, obviously. Um, and I think they're all, yeah, beautiful. And this is meant for size six crocheting hooks, but you can also use something slightly bigger. But I will use my size six um, for today. And it's 200 grams and 310 meters. Um, yeah, 200 grams to 310 meters. It's 75% um, acrylic. 15 wool and 10% polyamide. And yeah, let me find the beginning and let's go. All right, so this is the beginning uh, with my size six um, crocheting hook and we're gonna start with a magic circle. We will wrap the thread around the fingers, go through with our hook and pull the thread through. Okay, and um, now we will start with three chain stitches two and three and then we crochet four double crochets into the circle number one number two number three and number four okay so what have we done um into the magic circle uh, that's what we started with. Um, I added four double crochets and three chain stitches. Um, the three chain stitches are the same height um, as a double crochet. And so we have the structure of five, kind of. Um, I will pull the um, magic circle closed. And then we have um, this small, let's call it a triangle <laughs> or a little shell you know, that kind of comes from the magic circle there. Then we continue with the next row. Um, for that, we will start again with three chain stitches. Three, okay. We will start every row with three chain stitches. Um, and now in between um, the two um, chain uh, double crochets we have here from the row before, we go just in between and crochet four um, double crochets. <laughs> So it's going to be a little crowded. Three, okay, let's take a little more wool here to continue. And number four. These are the chain stitches on the outside and then the four um, double crochets. Then we continue um, on, the, on the very edge here again of the other, um, of the, yeah, shell below. So we go in between the three chain stitches um, of the row before and the first double crochet that we crocheted. Um, and there we will add five double crochets. So it's always packs of five. Um, and at the very beginning of each row, we start with three um, chain stitches. Okay, so these areas between the first and last or you know whichever side you're looking from um so there's 
Um, obviously, we're, we're creating these bigger holes kind of because we're squeezing four or five um, double crochets in between. Um, and these are, yeah, on the left here, five double crochets, and on the right, the chain stitches and the four double crochets. And let's continue with row number three already. We're starting again with three chain stitches, turn it around. And then again, um, we will poke through here in between um, the two double crochets. And we add four double crochets here. Two. Three. And four. Then we will continue here um, in between the two packs, the two shells. That's what we go into. And we will add um, five um, more double crochets. So um, we're not going actually into the stitch, but always kind of just in between. Um, and here we're always, yeah, fully in between the two packs, the two shells. Um, then here again, we have two of these. And now to finish off this row, we will add um, in between the chain stitches and the four double crochets, another five double crochets. And as you can see here, um, you can, yeah, this triangle shape is developing and um, we always have exactly the same amount of packs, amount of shells um, as it is, you know, the number of uh, rows. So one in the first, two in the second, three in the third. Um, in the fourth one, um, we will um, put one on the very outside, then in the in-betweens, and then one more on the very outside. So we will have four in the fourth row also. And I will show you this one as well. Let's see if um, we already get a color change here. One, two, three, chain stitches, turn it around. Then here in between we go and we add four double crochets. Okay, so four done. Then um, go in between the two packs, add five double crochets. Okay, now we have three, four, and number five. Okay, now into the next in between. Again, five double crochets, three, four. Okay, and as you can see, it's kind of fast once you're in the rhythm. And now we're back on the outside, so we will go um, in between the chain stitches and the double crochets and add another five um, double crochets. four and number five okay now we can see what this looks like already so we have um four of these arch arches or like four of these um shells and so the color fade has actually not happened yet in this row um but i will see you again when i have um, the color fade here in between the orange which is very bright, um, and the next, yeah, colors. Okay, then I will give you an update. <laughs> All right, so this is my update, and you can see here that I had um, a little bit, really, of the orange and the brown together. Um, but here we have four packs with only the orange and the pink, and then the color changes. Um, and now we have the orange and the 
like white or like very light color. And now we are, yeah, we're back. So this is the next color change is coming up. Um, this time only one color will change. Um, and the other uh, one before that was one and then the other, but it was very quick. Um, this time I think it'll be a little slower. Okay, so this is the next part and we have the um, change here. So it's dyed through the orange is a very quick fade here into the brown. And yeah, so the the color from the orange to the brown isn't even um, like wide enough, long enough for one double crochet. But so now, yeah, it's switching from orange to brown. And I think the mixture here together with a very, very light pink just looks, yeah, very interesting already. And you can see the first pack here already in the new color. And um, what you can also see now um, is um, the actual shape here and the, the pattern, right? So how nicely um, they fit together and the shells just look really, really great. And we obviously have a lot more wool left over here with really nice colors um, that I'm excited for. And yeah, just excited for all these pastels and brown colors. Um, this pink and the blue is also really cool. And I think I will give you another update soon. All right, guys, so here's my other update. And I think we have reached a quite a nice um, yeah, size here. It's about a one meter 60 on the long side. And you can see all the different colors here that we had um, across, yeah, these um, crochets. So we started with the pink and the brown. Then we went to the orange. Um, that is probably the brightest color we had. And then it's more of a yellow. And then the rose got <laughs> slimmer and slimmer and longer, obviously. That's why they got slimmer. Um, I don't think the colors actually um, changed faster obviously because um, you know the rows get much longer um, it seems like they're getting shorter um, and then here we only had you know with the blue and the brown um, and then the pink with the blue we only get like one row out of it and here we have a really nice change um, in between one of the rows and I'm going to show you um, the scarf here on the very outside edge so this is the color change here. Um, but I really like how deep we go here with, um, yeah, with the, with the stitches. So it's, yeah, it's more like connected. And then here we come for, through this yellow and gray. And these are mixed and we're going to the other peak. Um, and here, Actually, I accidentally pulled out two of the double crochets, so I'm just adding them here again. And with that, I'm going to finish off the scarf. I'm going to cut off the thread I have. Um, oh, look, there's another pink pink. Um, I have a little bit of wool left, but um, I don't think this is going to be enough for another row. And so, yeah, I think this is big enough for now. Um, and I can probably use these um, leftovers here for something else. Um, I definitely will keep them and find something to use them for. And yeah, with that, our scarf is done. We have beautiful um, colors here. And obviously you have to hide still the beginning of the end thread. And then um, we're done. And I think, yeah, the size is really, really great. Um, the beautiful colors and the nice pattern. I really hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I will see you back here again next time at DIY Ideas. Bye!